So, silence, practice of the presence of God, worshipping with the church, praying with others, praying the liturgy, praying the traditional prayers of the church, singing hymns and choruses, teze songs, praying for the needs of the world, praying for others. There was sometimes the temptation for me to think that I had it all sorted. Of course, I knew I didn't, but there's always that little temptation, the little voices of self-satisfaction that are always there alongside one, either the tempting voices of self-satisfaction or the other tempting voices of despair. And boy, was I in for a big change, uh, the big change of having a baby. And then I was to learn that prayer is not about me finding God by various well honed techniques, but me allowing myself to be found. And all the techniques and ways of praying that I had learnt up until then were ways that perhaps were not quite so useful for someone who was about to set out on the tumultuous journey of motherhood. When I didn't have time to sit and be quiet. Arrow prayers were still very useful, but what I had then to do was to learn to practice faith. And while I couldn't practice the presence of God, I had to have faith that the God whose presence I had practiced in the life over which I had more control as a student or an ordinant, now I had to have faith to know that God was as with me when I was breastfeeding my baby, changing nappies, hanging, washing on the line, uh, cutting the inevitable onion, which I seemed to spend years doing every day at about six o'clock when I was preparing supper. Um, I had to have faith and say, I don't feel the presence of God. I haven't got time to actually pray. Uh, if I send up an odd arrow prayer, it will be a miracle because I've got, I'm not very good at multitasking. I know women are supposed to be able to multitask, but I am a hopeless multitasker, so I can't do it. In order to make sure my baby, babies, toddlers, children are safe, um, and one day it was alarming to be called by my nine-year-old, Mum, come and look at me and go out of the back door of Clonada Vicarage and discover my son um, up a very huge pine tree. Um, so to make sure my children are safe and everybody's fed, I had to keep uh, what wits I had on all of them around me uh, to have the faith to know that God was with me in that. Uh, and while I did my job of uh, being a wife and a mum and then um, a, a, a vicar. Uh, but to know that God was with me uh, and to know that he would find me and that in the life that I offered to him day by day, his presence was with us. Because God is not someone we conjure by our words. God is the one who is with us in the life that we offer him.